Feels good in here. The energy is spot on, but I think we can turn it up a little bit. This shit doesn't roll round. Well, once every 10 years, it seems like at this rate. This song is the first song we ever wrote.
You know, while, uh, while we were practicing for these shows and playing these songs, sometimes, in some cases, the first time we played these songs in about 10 years, it's been a beautiful reminder of a time that has passed of the people that we once were. And a little cringy too. I look back on some of these songs, I mean, fuck. We're better songwriters now. But at one point it doesn't matter because we were the same people that we're singing about in these songs. And it's been a window into the past to be playing these songs, to be singing these words that I wrote when I was 17 years old in Seb's fucking bedroom. No scene around us, no nothing. Just us in a bedroom writing about shit that meant something to us and that's what every band should fucking do. If it ain't real, if it doesn't mean something, it ain't shit, basically. But playing these songs has been a beautiful reminder of a time that's once been. Reminded us of who we were all those years ago. And hey, while we might have grown as people, as songwriters and as a band, it doesn't matter. We look back on that with all fondness. And I'm sure you do too, because you were right there with us. We grew up together. And that's the most beautiful thing about this fan base and about this band. It's not about us getting up here and fucking parading around like we're better than you. It's about realizing that we went through this together. We're all in this together. We're all feeling this same shit right now. And we always will. As long as you're there, we'll be here. So thank you for sticking with us for 10 years. This next one is about being terrified to leave home and go away to university. And like I said, I look back on that shit and I think, what the fuck was I scared of? But it was ultimately not being able to do this. This song's called I Couldn't Wait to Leave Six Months Ago.
Let's fucking go, Philly! This is where the fun starts! You know what to do, get the fuck up! Celebrating the 10 year anniversary of Rain in July. We're celebrating like the seven or eight, maybe nine year anniversary of a history of Madison. So give it up! Nine years, wow! Random milestone, but here we are. This next song's all about, well, it's an apology letter to my parents for being such a fucking stoner layabout and not doing anything with my life. Hope they're proud now. Saw's called up in smoke. Tight. 
I said before, we've become better songwriters. That song alone shows who the fuck puts four verses in a song. But there we go, like I said, we ain't mad, it's all reminiscent. Let's reminisce. So I think with this next one, you can see where we were gonna take Neck Deep. We started evolving our songwriting a little bit. Tried writing, writing some fucking catchy songs that you could sing along to. And this is where you can see it, beginning where it starts to happen. That's why it's so fucking beautiful. This song's called Table Turn, let's go. I thought the weather getting better, but I always felt so cold in your company. I don't care anymore, won't you please just let me? Yo, Philly, it's fucking hot in here. Big up the security, feeding all you guys at the front water. Appreciate that. Everybody down at the front, good. We all good. Everybody in the pit, you all good. Everybody at the back's fucking chilling. Shut up. I'm joking. I'd be at the back with you, trust me. 
How about we chill it out just a little bit, give everybody just a little break. All right, cause, uh, cause while a lot of people fucking pine for the old shit, they think it's harder, they think it's got an edge to it, which it does. But hey, you can't fucking ignore the fact that our softest fucking song was on our first EP. Literally, through the softest one we got, and people were like, you need to go back to rent. So back to playing a part of me, right? Not yet! Not yet! You fucking know the set list. I don't know why any of you are like, ah, you know it. But yeah, we've always been partial to a little fucking ballad or acoustic song or whatever the fuck it is. We're multifaceted people. We don't give a fuck. We'll write a hard song, a sad song, a happy song, a fucking, ja fucking slow jam. We don't give a fuck, whatever it is. If it feels good, if it sounds good, we're gonna do it, right? So that's what we've always stuck by. All right, this next one, right? The first couple of, the first few neck DPPs were all about these two girls who kind of fucked with me a little bit and around the age of like 17, 18. It's fine, it's fine, I fucked her sister, it's all good. But this next song is the first song that I wrote about my current girlfriend, I've been with her like 10 years. And when you talk about things being a window into the past and being able to look back on your former self and tap into that time and that emotion, for me personally, this is a big one. So uh, I'm gonna play it. I'm gonna fucking love it. And if you don't, go smoke a cig. This song's called Head to the Ground. Let's go. One for your train or you might miss it. But I know I'd miss you. This song that I've been listening to It reminds me of you It reminds me of you And I hope I don't drag you down Cause I'm starting to feel alright thanks to you And I hope this can all work out Cause I feel like myself when I'm running my head to the ground Where's the next time that I can see you? Got so much time on my hands, but it's... Let me my How the fuck did I even need you? I can only hope that it's fate. And this all fell into place, and I hope I don't drag you down. Cause I'm starting to fail, alright, thanks to you. And I hope this can all work. Out. Cause I feel like myself when I'm running my head to the ground Can't control myself, I do this every time It's such a fatal flaw of mine Such a fatal flaw that I am the chip feel the same Fucking soft. 
What is wrong with you? I'm fucking with you. Thank you so much. Who wants a pit? I'm gonna see how far I can send this. I'm so fucking bad at this. Direct hit in the face of the person in the second row. Love like to see it. If you want shit, you gotta get in these couple front rows, man. My fucking... I have not got the tech. But I do have a song for you. This next one is cheesy and is fucking cringy and is fucking overplayed as we maybe feel it is. There's something about this song that just lights up a room, right? We had our EP, Rain in July, written, it was done. It was all this melodic, hardcore, hardcore, ad hardcore adjacent pop punk shit that we were going for. And then out of fucking nowhere, we wrote the cheesiest song you could ever fucking want to write. And it fucked everyone up, everyone was confused. But I would like to think that most people were just down with it, right? It doesn't fucking matter, you don't have to be that cool. This song has done so much for us. Like I said, there's just something about it. And we're very pleased to be able to play this for you right now. All we need are your voices. We don't need anything crazy. If you've got a lighter or a phone, you want to put the torch on or any of that shit, you can. You don't have to. Literally five people. Love it. I love it. Okay, there's more. Hey, it's all good. You don't have to do anything you don't want to. Except sing, and if you don't, then fuck you. I'm joking. Are you ready? You ready to do this? You ready to sing? This song's called A Part of Me. Let's go, let's do it. Come on. Hey, now move them around. Let's get some movement. Whatever you want, I don't give a fuck. Say you nice and loud, Philly. I'll paint you a picture with words I miss. Her. We still talk like every day. We don't talk in the same way that we used to. I'll move on and forget you. We could never see eye to eye. Either way, I like her because she's smart, headstrong, and independent. She puts me in my place.
That was nice. All feeling a little warm and fuzzy on a little bit. Fuck that, it's time to pick it back up. We got six more songs left. Seriously though, seriously. Do not do the encore thing. We're not gonna go off and come back. Let's just pretend actually that that's what's just happened, right? Let's pretend. So everybody, everybody quiet, everybody quiet, everybody quiet. Yeah, do the one more song. Neck deep, neck deep. And then, and then, and then, wow! There we go, hey, we got like six more songs. We got like a little greatest hit, and then we're out, and then we're done. And our journey out here, this is the last show of this little tour we're doing, so it's done. Let's fucking go. Let's go, let's do it. Motion sick. Hey, hey, hey. Get the fuck up here, let's go. Here we go. It's time to kick the habit I'm. It's been a hell of a ride. Me too. 
We're gonna play a little bit of Life Science and get you just a couple songs. This next one goes out to all the small town heroes, because let me tell you, when we were growing up in the place that we grew up, we weren't fortunate enough to have places like Underground Arts that would put on shows for us so consistently with such a strong scene. We had a venue for a minute, but it died unfortunately, and it was left down to us just chilling in Seb's bedroom, hoping that maybe we could play a show someday. And so if you're a small town kid with big dreams, want to start a band, want to make some out of yourself, fucking do it. Don't hesitate. Take that first step. Whatever's fucking scaring you or freaking you out, fuck it. The world's a big and beautiful place most of the time. And I hope to see you all out there one day fucking killing it, especially you small town heroes. But we want to be inclusive, so if your city slickers too, follow your dreams, whatever the fuck, follow your dreams. This next song is called Can't Kick Up The Roots. Let's go. A 
Has anybody here been through a tough time and Negative's music's helped you through it even just a little bit? Because the thing is, right, just before we wrote an album called Life's Not How To Get You, we were meeting lots of fans on shit like Warp Tour and all that good shit. And uh, a lot of the time we were hearing stories or people would say, you saved my life and all this shit. And that was a lot for me to take. I thought, whoa, you know, some people even giving their razor blades and shit. And hey, I love that our music has helped you, but I will say this. If you think that we saved your life, we didn't do shit. You made that decision to make your life better and carry on. That has nothing to do with us, that was all you. However, after meeting so many people who were struggling with their mental health and who were going through a tough time, I said I wanted to write a record that would maybe stop people wanting to hurt themselves or wanting to end their own lives. And so we went about and wrote Life's Art to get you and I think it was maybe the most impactful album that we've put out so far. Because there was clearly a message there that resonated with so many of you. Life's Art to get you, baby. Let's fucking go. And this next song embodies that message more than any other. Life may be tough, but trust me, it's never so tough that you've got to give up. It always, always gets better. Your hard times make the good times so much fucking better, so hang on. Let's live in this moment right here, right now. This song's called Gold Steps. Let's go. Woo!
Thank you so much, Philly. Everybody give it up for our amazing crew. I have to keep tending to my bullshit. So while we're here celebrating the old shit, it only seems right that we bring it up to date a little bit and get on some of that new shit. What are you saying? Open this bitch up, let's go. I want you all to move, I want to see some motion, let's go. Show me your two steps. two songs left and then we're out not just out for the evening but out of this tour out of this little run that we're on yo we love you too how about a sing-along I said, I've got a fucking sing along. What are you saying? There we go. Got to reciprocate, or I'm going to do the annoying thing where I, I ask twice. But we're good. So, 
We were lucky enough in the history of this band to have one of my idols, one of our biggest influence, mis influences, Mr. Mark Hopper, sing on this song. So I want you to give a warm Philadelphia welcome to Mr. Mark Hoppus. Got him. Hey, why the fuck would he care? The song's called December. We'll do it just fine without him. Let's go. Watch out. true but we've only got the one song left and then we're out and then this 10 year celebration is over but before we uh before we play this last song i just have a few thank yous i want to say where they're clearly fucking due first off 
I want to say a huge thank you to all of our amazing crew, all of the dudes that you see here up on stage with us fixing our shit, taking our photos, making sure our sit shit sounds good, making sure we sound good, making sure we get there on time and arrive safely and our merch is all flogged and sorted. Hey, honestly, our crew are some of our best friends. It is one big family that is no bullshit. We love every single one of them and I think pretty much every single one of them has had some sort of involvement with Neck Deep over the years and we've managed to fucking mold it into a job for them. Fuck it. Just give your friends jobs. That's what everyone should do. Yeah. <laughs> That's what we did and it's the best shit we ever did because we get to tour with our best friends and they kill it every single day. So please give it up for all of our amazing crew. We love them so dearly. They don't get anywhere near the credit and they do all the fucking work, so uh, I think they deserve it. Also want to say thank you to Underground Arts for having us for three sold out nights in a row, baby! <laughs> this venue is fucking sick. Truly, truly, to have a place that allows you to jump on each other's heads and fucking throw yourselves around without no fucking bullshit, a place that understands the culture and the importance of what it means to allow this shit to happen. That shit is fucking rare. Trust me, like I said, from a small town kid, we didn't have this. So if this is your local or this is the venue that you come to to see all your bands, make sure you keep coming and supporting all the bands that roll through here because places like this are more rare than you fucking think. Trust me. So big up Underground Arts. Thank you for having us for the last couple of days. All the bar staff, all the security, all the promoters. We love you, appreciate you, thank you for having us. Make some fucking noise for Kyle and for Dre, let's go! Ooh, 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 ooh. It's truly been a joy and a pleasure to have two bands on this bill that we genuinely fuck with, that we like just as a band, regardless of whether we like them as people. But it, it makes it even better that they're fucking sweet people too. So you know, if you're supporting those bands, they're great people that make great music and they deserve all the love and support that you can give them. Sometimes in the past, we've maybe been forced to play the game a little bit. You know, we were young when we started this band and there's certain things that you have to do or whatever. But tonight is a true representation of where we started, where we came from, what we love and what we're passionate about. And so to be able to do this with two bands that we truly give a fuck about, who are deeply involved in the culture that we care about, is fucking beautiful. So thank you so much to Drain and Coyle for coming out here. Honestly, I've been watching the sets every single night and it's inspiring to see such good bands coming up and uh, just with such positive energy because the world is not always a positive place and so to have two bands come in and just fucking cast aside all, all judgment, whatever, all fucking egos and just come and give you guys a fucking experience is exactly what it's all about and we could not thank them enough for being here with us, so thank you. Goes without saying everybody has merch over at the back little bit of knowledge, a little bit of nugget to take away with you. The best way to support any band, big or small, whatever, is to buy merch directly from them at shows. You can guarantee that most of, if not all, that money is going directly to the band. So if you can tonight, go pick up a train shirt or a coil shirt or a record. I don't think there's much merch left in general, but if you can, go pick them up. If not, check them out on Spotify because you might just find your new favorite band. So one more time, let's hear it for Drain and Coil. Thank you so much. Thank you. We got like a big chunk of the fucking Northern Hemisphere represented here from fucking California to New York all the way to the fucking UK. It's beautiful. With Philly right there in the middle. Yeah. Want to give a big shout out to Hate 5 6 who's filming the show tonight. Never thought we'd be on a Hate 5 6 video, but here we fucking are. What a time to be alive. Now, honestly, that is a big honor for us too. Honestly, we grew up watching those videos, dreaming that one day we'd be in Philly at one of these shows, and here we are, so big up here, guys. Um, and then I guess the only people left to thank, most importantly, is every single one of you that is here with us right now, and every single one of you that has been with us for the last 10 years. 
on this fucking crazy journey. We're under no illusions that this is all because of you. The fact that we are standing here on this stage is because of you and you only. Um, yeah, it's crazy. If we didn't have you, yeah, we, we truly wouldn't fucking be here. And so our aim now is to just be the best band that we can for you. For no other reason, hey, we've played the fucking game, we've done our experimental record, we've been through the fucking ringer. And ultimately right now, we're just trying to be the band that we want to be. We're in, we have more control over this shit than we've had in a long, long time. And I guess what I'm trying to say is it just feels really fucking good to be neck deep right now. And you are a huge, huge part of that. So thank you so much. Going forward, we're kind of just gonna keep on doing whatever the fuck we want. So expect more shows like this, some bigger shows, all sorts of different support bands. But most importantly, we're working on a new record right now and I think you're gonna fucking love it so much. We know who we are, where we're going, what we want, and what is important. And what's important in music is music and people. And that is it. Everything in the middle is just fucking bullshit. It's all gloop. And that's what we have right now in this fucking moment. So we got one song left, and that is it. And then we're out until fuck knows when. So Philly, you got one fucking more in you or what? You're gonna do this one more time with us. This is the last show of this tour. It's the last show of our little, uh, our little trip to Philly. And so you know you've got to make it fucking special. So let's do this one more time, Philly. Thank you for being here. This song is called In Bloom. Let's go. Almost 24 hours have passed since we first learned of the atomic bomb and its use against the city of Japan. And even now, after hearing many times the description of this new weapon, this has been the best 10 years of our lives and I hope we've been there along for the ride for yours too. Let's go, let's sing. Sometimes at night I lay in bed. Sometimes I'm sure it gets you all of us. Sometimes that is not enough. No, sometimes that is not enough. No, sometimes that is not enough.
fucking much. We love you. Thank you so much. This has been 10 years of our fucking lives. And it's all down to you. Thank you. We love you. We love you. We love you. We've been neck deep. Until next time, we'll see you. Take it easy. Peace.